Hey, what's up guys? Casey here. This is hopefully the first of many vlogs on this channel. It's almost 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. My buddy's about to come over. We're going to watch the Steelers game. And then I got a 1.30 tea time at Beaupre at the local big, you know, golf, disc golf course. I actually grew up playing there. So it's kind of cool coming first full circle to be able to play there. One of my favorite courses. It's kind of a hidden gem. No one's ever filmed a video at, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to go out there. Um, I got a new mic I'm trying to set up right now. And then, so I'm trying to just do like a legit course playthrough with the, um, like my new tripod, the mic, whatnot. But I would kind of go out there and then for the vlog, just film some fun videos, like warming up, just, you know, the area. I'll eventually want to do a video of the Red Curtain as well. But, you know, just trying to get some more content going this off season. Um, I know today I want to do like a James Proctor Conqueror review. Get some of that. And there's a couple of discs I'm working on in the bag. You know, just kind of have this vlog going so I can throw some extra discs and just throw some extra shots on different layouts because I'm just going to play just a straight mixed layout and just stick with that for the video. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to do this. And uh, yeah, I'm in the man cave just chilling. And uh, I guess I say go Steelers, the hand says. She's going to piss at me because I've been bothering her. But uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned and uh, hopefully we have a fun little vlog video. Get some good throws in and right on. Oh. And, I can just, and I've just been working on just banging them. And just, I try to get us, you know, end the night on a 10 in a row. It's really kind of, I'm kind of rushing it right now. Just getting that muscle memory ripping. Just get that just absolutely dialed in as best I can. But uh, yeah, this is my space. Oh, oh that spit. But <sighs> that's per that's perfect. But once guys, we're up here at the Beaupre golf course. Just teed off, yeah, shanked one, but like four twenty off the tee. But we're moving up. Kind of smoked my second one, so feeling good. Uh, for the course playthrough I'm doing, I'm playing like the mixed layout but i think for just this video i'm going to throw a few extra just have some fun try out some discs do a little bit extra fun kind of just get this mic working out see how it feels just have a good time enjoy the day steelers got a win so i'm super stoked the ugly one but it works and uh yeah let's just have a good day i'm gonna go with a little zone here a little 150 foot flick try to get some skip off it so it's always a little touchy it's super skippy here I want to make sure I just get close and leave myself to kind of hang it left, pop it in. Kind of like that. That should work. Sit, 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 sit. Ooh, there we go. That's easy. Do that every time. Tap in. Nothing to it. And if I took a view of this in my garage too, but here's my cart. Wife got this in for me. This is a little uh, backpack. I love it because I can like throw it in here. It's like a prodigy little caddy mount. I can put all kinds of stuff in here. I don't have anything in her hand now. But it's actually do that. So what I normally do is I'll take my range finder and I'll put it in here, clip it in here, throw a towel in. Boom, my phone usually goes in there too. Easy. Love this thing. It's I really only use it here for like tournaments, but I love it. Get tired of carrying the backpack around for this long dialed in. There we go. I hate those like first few putts. I just feel oh, I like shake it off. Get a couple. All right, we are now on a hole two. Here's hole one's fairway, kind of pushes down. Got that birdie, negative one. Here we go, we're playing to the short pin right here. 335, super skippy. And you can see it right here, and then behind it is the long pin, which we were playing the short, but I usually go with like a pathfinder or something here, and log. I threw a pathfinder for this, about 330, but I'm gonna try to feel a couple out. I wanna go wasp, and I wanna go zone. See if I can get this there, it's 330, so. Can I do like a flip up? It's really just ride it. This thing looks absolutely bomb. So if I can keep it low and it'll get that whole flex. If it comes back. Oh no, she ain't coming back. That thing bombs though. I mean, that was about 330, 340. Here's a wasp. But he's trying to sell me on this one, but I really want to hug this for kind of like a pop it on a little bit of Annie. See if I can kind of like ride it over. Let it come back with this tailwind a little bit. Oh yeah, there it is. Skip in. Cool. Uh, that's about 20 feet out. That's pretty sick. I like that flight. I kind of fought back even with the tailwind, but still had some stability. Drop. 
Oh, hooking it, hooking it wide. There it is. Yeah, those ones are frustrating. You just immediately bang them, but make the adjustment. Can't be too upset about it. I mean, and that's too wide. Maybe sit, 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 sit. sit. I can, I can bang that a little wide, but you know, it's a putt. That's all you want is putts. Oh, Chicago. Oh yeah, that's it. Push up, hyzer. It's gonna go right up to the basket. Yep. Nice. There it is. Sometimes I like to bang too. I won't throw these all in the video, but I am promised uh, playing it. Throw one more. This Vela. Love this thing. See if I can get it to pop it kind of flat on the right. Get it to flip over. Super sick. Oh, there it is. That's nice. Push. Yeah, that's money. That's why I throw that disc. There we go, baby. Good one to get. Oh, man. I think that's uh, two down through five. So, good birdie here. Thanks to Hannah. Well, through five. Five holes? Yeah. So I'm blanking out right here. I'm the one that plays this course. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So three under right now through five. Uh, a little bit of a mistake on hole four, but it made up for it with some great putts. So feeling really good coming forward. I let a couple of golfers pass me just to give them some room. Pass me. I'm playing good, having a great time. It's beautiful out. It's only two o'clock. So I got a Steelers win today. So I'm super pumped. Um, lake's a little low right now. You can see out here. Normally, this is just full, absolutely full of ducks. My wife loves it. We come out here, and then occasionally, here's on the other side. This is about on, I think, 17 for the golf. There's a lot of turtles out here, but if you ever through here, you want to come play this course. Just an absolutely incredible course. Yep. A 20 footer. Great. Hopefully that'll sit a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh. Oh. That's a putt. I mean, that was great. I should have committed to that a little bit more, but I got the snap on it. Okay, we're gonna go with a MV on this guy. That last that last throw was a little low on hole six or five, excuse me. Sorry, six, yeah. And I'm gonna try to keep this one up a little bit higher. Try to just really ride the angle. It's a little bit flat. Maybe pop the Anheuser just because this is uphill. So you want to make sure I get up there enough at least. I try to like hug the right side to give myself the best one. And shout out to my dad. This is the one he aced. It's our buddies right over there playing golf. So he aced in my face and I got mine shortly after. Ooh, that might actually have a chance. Go in, go in. Ooh. Wanted that one. Fuck. Oh, baby. I'm now currently through the midway point. We are four under through nine. There's a couple I wish I could have got back. Miss only missed one putt, one shank ski. But overall, feeling great. Um, just got some guys playing over here too. I'm walking up this enormous hill, up the whole ten, and uh, right here, gotta you gotta check this drive out, the smoke show on the, my vlog. No, good times. And uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying. All right, guys, we're on hole ten now. Par three, five eighty five, four sixty five. Par three as well. The par three is right by where this card is. You can see the long. My favorites is getting full 10 in long position during league. But unfortunately, my phone is actually on 10% because I forgot to turn off the lock screen. So we're going to get as much as we can through this video. And I'll probably come back and revisit this and finish out the round at some point else. I'm sorry, guys, but we're going to get as close as I can. 
All right, guys, going with a Thought Space Aura Pathfinder, one of my faves. Really want to just push this sucker to the right. I try to like push as far right as I can because it's downhill. It's 465, but it really doesn't play that far. So my buddies told me to do this, and we're going to push it to the right and try to see if I can get a flip out of it. Exactly what I want. Need a little bit of an extra run up on this one. Love the headwind too. Switch to a power grip here for a little bit more. I'll flip up. That should come back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh yeah. That's part we got here. Oh yeah. That might be it if it holds it. Oh yeah, that's it. Come back, baby. Come on, suck fish. Get a skip. Yep. All right, so we're currently four down through 11, or through 10, excuse me. Going to 570, par four, right up in this guy. This is the eventual one we're gonna think put in, but we're going right up here, this guy. Up here, right up there. You know, you want to get about 400 far left so you can play the wide hyzer. So, oh. That'll work. Not a little bit shorter than I wanted, but it'll work. I'm going to be nice and wide. Right, this one's about 350 uphill. It plays like 450, so we'll see if I just kind of get one up there. There's short ones for funds. Getting drove on by golfers, too, so. Oh. As long as that comes back, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a pot. That's like <laughs> oh. a little bit pulled that one a little. Hit this brush, but got about a sixty footer uphill. Let's see what I can get out of it, huh? Oh, get it. Let's go. Oh, there it is, baby. That one's at 5%. We're moving. We're about to be on a hole 13, but uh, just drained this about 60 footer. So I do end up dying. Stoked, but sorry. Doing my best, but playing a good round so far, at least. All right, after that, pretty sweet. I think I'm 600 now. So we're going to go to this bad boy. We're at it, brr. 473 par 4. That's the par 3 right up there. I think it's 276, plays like 320. And we're going up where these guys are. So I kind of want to get up to this hill about right there. Oop. This hill, like right here. And it'll end up pushing me, give me a really good zone. Kind of like what that you just did. Yep. Oh, turn, baby. Oh, not quite enough. That's okay. I kind of want to. Going with a mantis up to this bad boy up there. Shout out to Lucas, my boy. This one. Try to see if I can get a little power grip action, get this up to shorty. The shortskovich. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That was crazy short. Okay, we'll go with the just to humor myself, I'll go with the ethereal pathfinder. Can I really push that one up there? Get a little bit more off off of it. Kind of go right at it this time. That's better. I mean, it's a putt. <laughs> it's not super amazing, but that's a mid-range for you. Oh, oh, get past it. Oh, darn it. That's the danger in that one. I mean, inside anyways. Oh. Yeah, that's putting. Well, let's live and learn. I rushed on a little bit here, but see how awesome I've guarded this is. It's a really cool one. I'm just tapping in my par and moving. All right, we are here on hole 13. I said 14 before, but yeah, we're on 13. Playing this 250 little guy right here. Long is way up there. You can actually see the ocean. It's pretty incredible. Here's the short. I'll try to get a clip of the ocean. You can really see it way down there. Right down there? Yeah, that is the ocean. But yeah, we're at 4%. Push, 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 push. Hmm, a little short, but we'll take it. It's a putt. Take it. 
All right, we're seven down through 13. This is a par four. We're going all the way down, blasting down this path here. Start that Mando. All the way down, down that basket. Beautiful par four. Kind of hate this hole. Kind of love this hole. But sorry for the sideways. It's like two something, uh, 260 to clear that front tree. That's the one we want to hit and miss. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with Vela. It's a little bit more stable. My theme has been kind of flipping up with the headwind. So go with this guy. I'm trying to commit to that hyzer and really just try to push. I just want to get in the open. Be like a real easy run up and just commit to it nice and low. We'll get past that tree. Money. Absolutely perfect. Take it. So I cleared this gap right here. Pop down. Vela should be right down there at the bottom of that hill. Hopefully, an easy pitch up. Fortunately, my phone's at 2%, so we're going to get as far as we can. And thanks, guys, for everything you watched today. You know, hopefully next time I'll get the whole round, but I'll give you the stats at the end, make a little update video of how I played in the round. I'll make sure to finish it next time. Okay. It's a little deep, but we'll take it.